y'all welcome back to my channel I am Brittany and I'm gonna be showcasing my lovely seamless paper okay I got this paper um, from a few places and we're gonna talk all about that in a video first off I want to say y'all continue to stay safe so if you want to know more about these papers and these colors and to see how they look keep watching hello guys so I am finally finally here with this video that has taken me has taken me some time okay but we here we here we are here so I am going to be showcasing my um, seamless paper that I got over quarantine uh, because as we all know uh, we've been inside for months I'm super excited to show my papers because I've been displaying them on my social media and everything and I even made a post saying that I was gonna post a YouTube video on these like three weeks ago just now being up but again we are here and here we go we're gonna start off with the color that we already have displayed okay and this is from an Amazon vendor I, I'll have their name and stuff on the screen and I have it linked in the description box below as well but this is like a yellow okay it's not a bright yellow but it's not a oh it's a bright yellow but it's not like a but it's a it's a gorgeous yellow like especially on my complexion okay so like perfect so it's not like this yellow yellow it's just like a nice rich deep yellow you feel me and I think it's, it's complimentary. and I also um, add in some photos that I took with um, this backdrop color as well I did a outdoor setup um, during quarantine and I had some friends come by and outside and I shot outside with some of these backdrops that I'm going to be showcasing so I'll link those as well so yeah you have this lovely color right here um, it is called far Cynthia for Cynthia fair Cynthia yellow I'm not too sure again it will be in the description box below but this is the color I love it honestly it looks so good in person it just makes everything pop honestly makes my skin tone pop and I just really love this one so we're gonna go into the next color all right so we're back with color number two and this is baby blue okay so this color is from Savage Universal and absolutely love it it's a nice soft blue it's not a aqua it's a it's showing up a little bit almost uh, with a slight teal that's what it's kind of showing up as a little bit but in I haven't really shot photos with this color though so um, yeah I may post try to do some for my Instagram and just see how that looks so yeah but it's a gorgeous color but this is a nice blue is it's really pretty it's not dark it's not too light um, it's a really pretty color so this is baby blue I was gonna say baby boy who my bad but this is baby blue and it's a really pretty color really something that if you want to do something maybe summery or even uh, teeter-totter in the winter part you could do that um, so this is again from Savage Universal so now we're gonna go into color number three this is my OG okay I've had Lil laugh for like three four years and she still looks good like I probably had to like cut her maybe like twice two or three times and I still have a bunch of paper left um, I'm gonna put all the specs and dimensions as well along in the description box but yeah this is lavender she's also from Savage Universal um, like I said I got her some years back but I know they still carry this color and she is gorgeous like she's just so pretty and I've used I've used this color in a few videos on my channel so you can check out some of the times that I've used um, this color for some of my videos in different lighting situations because um, right now I have a three light <laughs> three light situation going on but yeah this is lavender love her to pieces um, beautiful color beautiful color it's a beautiful purple like like a beautiful purple and she really pops so yeah let's get into the next color all 
Alright, so we are with the next color and this is Evergreen. And Evergreen is also from Savage Universal. Evergreen is a badass, okay? Evergreen really pops severely. And Evergreen really looks good in photos. BT dubs. For real, for real, okay? Now, how it's showing up on camera. It's a little bit, well, because it's a bit darker. It's a bit, it's a, it's kind of like a really nice forest green, evergreen. It's a really pretty forest green. So, um, and I'm going to also show photos uh, of me using evergreen. I would also like to recommend that with these papers, it's good to get um, some clamps. And if you don't have a sturdy enough stand, some sandbags, because I have had some moments where I was outside shooting and my stand and the wind did not want to cooperate and it fell. So I kind of had to, I think it was with the other color that I'm about to show next, but I had to cut because it was just like, it was getting a lot of use to it. So I kind of just had to like, choo -choo 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 -choo, just kind of like cut it just to make, to get all the um, raggedy ends off of it. But I mean, I sincerely love this color. Like this would be in like my top five and I only got like five. But this would be like top three for real, for real. So they're all the same. All the ones that I've shown you, they're all the same um, dimensions and everything. So let's view the last color in my collection. And yeah, let's get to it. All right, so this is the last color that I have. And this is the color Mocha. Now, honest opinion, I'm not the hugest fan, the biggest fan of this color because I wanted something a little bit more deeper and richer in tone as far as browns. This is more like a nice um, deep sand. Like, you know, like when I think of mocha, I don't know what I think of. I think of a little bit something darker than this. Pretty, now like if this was like maybe something for like a skincare or like something skinny, it's not skinny, but earthy-ish, earthy adjacent, maybe this will work, I don't know. Um, I've also shot photos with this color as well. I'll um, show some pictures of me using mocha, but I really will be looking into getting um, more of a chocolatey color. Um, Cause I've seen Savage, and this is also from Savage Universal as well. And I know Savage has like, I think two or three different types of brown that they have available. So I'm gonna probably look for the deeper tone brown. Um, something that would show a little bit darker, almost like how Evergreen does, like it's a deep color, but it kind of brightens up a little bit. That's kind of what I was looking for in the brown. So I'm happy to have it, but I totes want to get um, something a bit darker and richer in color. So this was the very last color. This is Mocha, and let me know what you think about Mocha in the comments below. Do you, do you like Mocha? Are you feeling Mocha? Let me know. All right, everybody, so this was the seamless paper video. I was reviewing all of my lovely papers from um, my current collection right now. Oh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know which one was your favorite. Like, what were your top two? Let me know. Again, I put all of the information on these lovely papers um, in the description box below. And no, this is not sponsored. I'm just trying to let y'all know about these colors. And to be very honest, I want to do more of these to showcase like these colors on brown skin because when I go searching for colors um, I kind of have a hard time of seeing like how would this look against my skin or the people who I'm shooting with more you know what I'm saying um, so I really feel like this green I've seen it on different complexions this green and this yellow and this lavender okay um, really popping colors. Okay, my camera cut off. Sorry guys. Whew. And please continue to stay safe and I just appreciate you all for watching this video and I hope it brings you some type of joy um, during this. Just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.